how much beam in order to potentially become a crypto millionaire in today's video let's find out however before we kick things off please keep in mind i'm not a financial advisor these are all just hypothetical scenarios and also there's absolutely no guarantee that any of it is going to happen also let's take this into consideration as well the current circulating supply of beam is sitting at around 49 billion at the time of this recording so just keep in mind that as the supply changes these calculations may be affected as well but with that being said my first price target for beam is 50 cents now that would be around a 31 extra here and at that point you would need to own 2 million beam to become a millionaire and that right there is currently worth thirty-two thousand dollars. now some people out there they may be thinking okay this is kind of a lot, right? But I still think that 50 cents is not bad nonetheless, because for instance, you know, it's still slightly over 31x from here. So if I were to put $1,000 into Beam right now, and if it were to go to the price of 50 cents, at that point, I would have managed to turn my $1,000 into over $31,000 slightly, which isn't that bad, even if let's say someone doesn't have, you know, around 32,000 to put it, not financial advice. But the way I take a look at it is that over 30x, it's not that bad at the end of the day. And now my second price target for Beam is $0.64. Cents. The reason why I made it this kind of unique number is because it's to make the calculations flow a lot easier. But besides that point, you know, at the price of $0.64, cents, to become a millionaire, you would need to own 1,562,500 Beam. Yeah, that's kind of a mouthful. But besides that point, that's currently worth $25,000 as of right now. And some people may think that $0.64 cents is not achievable, but I disagree because when I take a look at Beam, I think it's one of the best projects out there. You know, after all, it's an open source blockchain specialized for gaming. Now, also on top of that, let's not forget, when it comes to Beam, one of its main components is actually the Beam SDK. Now, SDK stands for Software Development Kit. But besides that point, what this means is that this allows game developers to choose from a wide variety of tools to quite essentially help fuel and structure in-game blockchain elements. So yeah, I think that's a great touch. But some people, with that being said though, they may think that blockchain gaming is done. It's trash, it's caca. I disagree. You know, according to Grandview Research, the blockchain gaming market is predicted to be worth over $300 billion by 2030. I mean, that's insane right there. So when it comes to blockchain gaming, it's clearly far from over. And I think Beam is that amazing. You know, there's a lot of blockchains out there but there's not that many that specialize for gaming. And Beam is. This is a thumbs up for me. However, it doesn't end there because when it comes to the Beam ecosystem, it's actually very diverse. For instance, I do want to talk about BeamSwap, which is a decentralized exchange. And this right here is actually a genius move by Beam because through this, they're focused on the decentralized finance market, aka the DeFi market, which, by the way, yet again, according to Grandview Research, is predicted to be worth, you know, its market size, over $200 billion by 2030. So that's the forward-thinking mindset of Beam. They're even focused on DeFi as well. This is amazing stuff right here. But of course, there's more because Beam, it's that amazing. We take a look at, for instance, the Beam OS. Now, what this is, is that, you know, it's a portal for exploring tools and apps on the chain. So this is a great addition, in my opinion. However, also on top of that, there's something called Sphere. Now, some people, they may be thinking, are you talking about the Las Vegas Sphere? You know, the one that's really cool. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about something that's equally as great, I would say arguably, and that's Sphere, the NFT marketplace. Now, NFTs, people may think that it's trash, but I'm going to have to repeat this because according to Grandview Research, yet again, by 2030, the NFT market is predicted to be worth over $200 billion. That's crazy. So when it comes to NFTs, it's clearly far from over. And Beam, I think they understand this. Now, of course, there's more also on top of that because the Beam ecosystem is that diverse. Let me show you what I'm talking about. There's also the Beam Layer Zero Bridge, which is a bridging solution to transfer tokens to Beam and other blockchains. But of course, last but not least, there is something called the Beam Block Explorer. And this right here is quite essentially a tracking platform for all Beam transactions and statistics. So man, just seeing all of that right there feels like a workout. But of course, in a good way, because... Man, when something is this special and this amazing, how can I not believe in it? But of course, there's more. Because if you take a look at Beam, what is behind it, quite essentially, what launched Beam? And that is something called the Merit Circle DAO. And now you may be thinking, what is a DAO? Now, a DAO is actually a DAO. And this right here stands for a Decentralized Autonomous Organization. 
And this right here is actually very special because it's an entity that's designed to be fully autonomous without a single point of control. So yeah, this adds to the decentralized aspect of what it's all about. And keep in mind, the rules of a DAO are established by a core team of committee members and is executed through smart contracts. Furthermore, to obtain voting power or membership in a DAO, users are typically required to own its governance token and anyone who holds Beam can vote. So if I take a look at Beam, you know, it has aspects of that Merit Circle DAO origin. You take a look at how it's focused on gaming, NFTs, decentralized finance. I mean, caralho, boha. You know, I have to start speaking some Portuguese because that's how amazing it is. At the price of 64 cents, I don't think it's too much to ask for, especially with all of those taken into consideration. And now my next price target is Beam at the price of 80 cents. And to become a millionaire at that point, you will need to own 1,250,000 Beam, which, by the way, is currently worth $20,000. Now, some people out there, they may be thinking, okay, this is kind of crazy, but I disagree. If it were to reach 80 cents in price, considering its current circulating supply, at that point, market cap would be around $40 billion. Not too bad. We've seen SHIB reach around $40 billion. I mean, come on, that's a meme coin. Also, on top of that, we've seen Doge reach over $80 billion. This isn't crazy, in my opinion. You know, I'm not saying that, you know, Beam needs to go to like a $200, $300 billion market cap to go to the price of 80 cents. You know, that'd be insane. I'm saying that just around a $40 billion market cap, I don't think it's too much to ask for. Now, my next price target is Beam at the price of, of course, a dollar. And at that point, you would need to own 1 million Beam to become a millionaire. And that's currently worth $16,000. Now, this may seem crazy, a dollar, but I disagree because first of all, we take a look at how there's currently over 600 million crypto owners, according to Crypto.com research. You know, this figure right here is actually practically double the amount that we saw back in 2021. And also on top of that, you know, this is over half a billion crypto owners. This is crazy. So if 2021 looked that special with that many less crypto owners, can you imagine this time around the buying pressure, the buying volume, the FOMO? It's going to be through the rope. Also, you take a look at the Bitcoin ETF, the number of institutional investors Bitcoin has. You know, just imagine what happens to altcoins as Bitcoin goes to the price of 100,000, let's say even beyond 250,000. It's going to be so amazing. So I think at that point, you know, Beam could very well go along with the ride and hypothetically go to the price of a dollar. Now, how soon? Usually altcoins, they peak anywhere between 6 to 18 months after a Bitcoin halving event. The Bitcoin halving event happened back in April. So potentially the range is, historically speaking, anywhere between October this year to October next year. Not so bad because if it happens earlier, great. Happens later. It's fine by me as well because this actually suits my strategy. I'm dollar cost averaging. So anytime earn income, I'm acquiring, I'm holding, and I'm just waiting. That's it. No day trading, no using leverage, no swing trading when it comes to any cryptocurrency that I own. I just like to keep things simple. And again, beam at the price of a dollar wouldn't surprise me whatsoever during this bull run. I think this bull run could be that amazing. I think beam is that special. And make sure to subscribe if you gain value from this video. I'd greatly appreciate it. It's Melanie the Captain. I'll catch y'all on the next one. I'm out. Peace. Bye.